Hey guys, Scott here. Today we're going to talk about the 2v8 mode and how when it eventually comes back, because it undoubtedly will, how they can address some of the issues that happened with it. I know a lot of people were actually upset to learn that 2v8 was extended because it is, like I made a video about, having a negative impact on the main game. It's so fun that it's actually completely screwing up few times for everybody and we need to figure out a way to fix that. So... This will come back. They have to have seen that it was pretty damn successful. It's going to come back at some point, just like I'm sure Chaos Shuffle will come back at some point as well. They've already discussed the fact that these are modes that are going to like rotate in and may become permanent depending on re uh, reception. They're not really sure about that yet, but no matter what, we will see this again. So the main issues I think we have to address first and foremost, the most important thing are the queue times. Queue times are the huge issue with 2v8. It is 15 to 20 minutes on killer and survivor is 0.1 seconds. Obviously, this indicates that there are far too many people playing Killer and not enough people playing Survivor. So how do we fix that? Well, I think we've learned that showering Survivors with rewards doesn't really help the scenario that much because people are going to prioritize fun over rewards. It sounds super lame, but fun is actually the best reward you can get in this mode. So even at 400% blood points, there was still extremely long queue times for Killer because it just wasn't enough for survivors. Now, there are two ways to fix that. You can make it less fun for Killer, or the more obvious solution, you make it more fun for Survivor. Now, how do you do that? Now, I, I actually really enjoyed 2v8, so I thought it was already fun, and I'm going to be working to address other people's complaints here because I don't fuel them myself, but I do understand where people are coming from, at least with a lot of these. So... One of the first major things is lack of variety. Now, that is something that, unfortunately, will just naturally fix itself over time. As they add more and more killers, you'll see less and less Huntress every game, for example. Huntress was undoubtedly the best killer in this mode due to all the ore reading and pressure from anywhere on the map. So a good Huntress is um, terrifying in this mode. And because of that, you would see Huntress basically every single game. It became the Huntress plus whoever simulator. So that is... Uh, again, not really something you can just fix right now. As they add more killers, you will see less Huntresses. That's just how it works. Um, nothing really more to talk about there. That's a problem that will naturally fix itself over time. Uh, next, the issue of not being able to do as much as you can do in the regular 1v4 mode. Things like, you know, Sabo saves, flashlight saves, coordinating things like that. Now... This mode, I think, is preferred by a lot more casual players because there's less to think about, even on both sides. It's basically just chase, do gens, heal. That's it. You just don't worry about anything else. No macro gameplay. Just run around like chickens without your heads. It's just chaos and it's fun and it's low stakes. You know, you don't have to think about very much. And that's why I think a lot of people really enjoyed it because a lot of people don't like the whole competitive mindset that the game has sort of moved towards. And when we have this silly, uh, just chaotic mode, it's a lot more aligned with how they want to play the game. So in that scenario, if you want to do more interesting things, if you're bored of what's going on in the actual match itself, we can have more roles. And I think this is a major thing. Survivors need to have more roles because as new killers come out, we'll have two new perks with them or two new, you know, uh, modified killer perks. Then we have the new killer power. But if a new survivor comes to the game mode, nothing happens. It's just it's just playing the same shit. So we need to have new roles added when new killers are added as well. And there's a bunch of things you can do. One I just thought of is like the interferer. You start with a flashlight. You, uh, you know, you have an ability to stun longer. You have like a uh, head on or something like that. Things that allow you to interact with the killer in that sort of way. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's a flashlight going to do? You can't get flashlight saves. And I think this is a major change that should happen. You should be able to flashlight save stops. I think that is a very core component to the game. And it's not like you can get bullied by eight people with flashlights because, you know, I guess technically if everyone searched a chest and all everyone found flashlights, sure, that's possible. But the sheer odds of that are basically zero. So it wouldn't be any more intense than the regular game mode. You can still counter it the same way that you always have, facing a wall or baiting it out, things like that. But it would allow more aggressive survivors to do something else during the match. So basically, you'd still have to time it to be at the end of the stomping animation. Killer would, I don't know, trip or something and the survivor would get back up. Animate it however you want, doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter how it looks it's just you need to be able to get saves like that in terms of saboing and stuff i don't really see a way that you can make that work because there just are no sabotages at all there's no hooks so i don't really think that could work um but just simple thing like that a, a, a role that interferes with the killer a lot more i think could make it a lot more interesting and it wouldn't really be that hard to implement and it wouldn't really make it 
that unpleasant for killer either because it's still counterable in the exact same ways. Now, the last major thing that I think I've heard people complain about in the 2v8 mode is getting 2v1 by a killer because that can feel pretty bad. It's a lot of the reason people hate night. A lot of times there's just not much you can do about it. Now, I personally have a different take. In the 1v4, if a knight is focusing me down like that, it annoys me more because I know there's only potentially three other people working on a generator and he's not expending any additional effort to get that down. In 2v8, however, if the entire killer team is focusing me down, they're expending everything just to down one person, and I feel less annoyed when I go down because of that. Yes, that still sucks, and there's no skill really to it if you get pincer attacked by two killers, but I know at the back of my mind, at least if I'm playing with people that are remotely competent, that there's going to be a ton of gem progress while they attempt to do that. So that's not really the case for one before, but in 2v8, it seems like it's way more punished because now you are devoting everything just to downing uh, an eighth of the team. So it's, I think that problem sort of rectifies itself, but let's assume it doesn't. And for people that are annoyed by it, how do you fix that? I think there's a couple of things you can do. A simple solution you might be able to do is make it so if there are two killers within 10 meters of a survivor, for example, that survivor will get endurance for two seconds after they're hit just to make it so you can't go duh, duh, and just immediately down somebody because that does feel like shit. Now, if you still want to down that person, you can just simply wait the two seconds and, you know, chase after them a bit when they get their speed burst or something like that. And in all likelihood, you'll still be able to down them. But it gives a survivor a slight chance to maybe pivot away with using their speed burst and get to something else. It's not going to work most of the time. And in fact, I'd say a majority of the time, the killer is still going to kill you. But at that point, again, they're devoting the entire team to it. It would just be a slight bone that you could get uh, to throw to the survivors just to make it a bit more... Just, just make it seem like you have a bit more of a chance, you know? Again, it's going to be heavily favored toward killers, but it should be because they're devoting everything to downing one person. So that could be a little bone thrown at survivors for the 2v8 issue. I don't have a problem with that issue, but I do understand how that can be annoying as someone that hates going against Knight, for example. It does suck going down when there's not much you can do about it. So I think something like that, some system like that, doesn't have to be exactly, but it, there's something you can do for that as well. Um, additionally, I also have just a random, just crazy suggestion. Um, just go full vo uh, video game mode in 2v8. It's already chaotic, casual, stupid, fun. Just throw power-ups and shit in there. Fucking, why not? Just put little power-ups around the map. They can be your role enhancers. Whatever your current role is, you interact with it like a totem for five seconds or something like that, and it buffs your role for a minute or something. If you're a runner, you go 5% faster while injured now, or your sprint burst instantly gets refreshed, or your sprint burst now has a 15-second cooldown or whatever. Uh, if you're the repairing one, you repair gens 25% faster. If you're the healing one, you heal twice as fast. If you're the um, scout, you have permanent vision on the killers for 45 seconds or something. If you're the interferer, you you blind twice as long, you stun twice as long. Just shit like that. Just like, just stuff like that. The killer will be able to see you have a buff on, you'd be glowing or particle effects or whatever. Just shit to get survivors to have some other thing that they can do. They would respawn maybe once a minute or something like that. Kind of like looking for the Redeemer in Unreal Tournament 2004. You're looking for that sweet power-up. Just some other fun video gamey aspect just to throw in there as something more interesting to do. Again, this is definitely not the super serious, competitive, immersive, like, horror survival mode. This is just chaos, stupid, silly shit fun mode. And I think we should really double down on that by just giving a lot more things uh, for survivors to do. Even if they're silly, even if they don't fit thematically, who gives a shit at this point? Just make it more fun and interesting. Again, I'm just spitballing random numbers. You don't have to be exact or anything like that. But just stuff like that, I think, would be a good idea. Now, you'll notice I haven't really suggested much for Killer. And that's because Killer's perfect already. There's nothing that Killer really needs. It's already so fun that that's all anyone wants to play. So I'm offering nothing for Killer because you can't really improve upon it. It's already cinema. So I think with a couple of changes to Survivor, um, you know, still have the Blood Point incentives too as well. But... Uh, I think we need to focus more on making Survivor uh, a more high variety experience. And we fix that naturally by having more killers, which will happen over time, giving survivors more roles over time, and also maybe throwing in some like power ups or crazy shit like that. Um, and maybe having something to do with 2v1ing, uh, speed boosts or endurance, things like that. So I think these are all things that can be easily fixed. You just need to think about them for a little while. And I think. 2v8 uh, was a resounding success, so much so, literally suffering from success, 
and I would hate to see this mode not come back. So I think if we take all these things into account, we can make it so there are a lot more survivors that want to play. Queue times start balancing out, which means the mode itself becomes more fun because you don't have to sit there for 10 minutes. And then also the matchmaking becomes more accurate because we're not, you know, searching 15 minutes, which basically negates all MMR to begin with. Because the mode does have MMR, it just doesn't modify your MMR if you win or lose. But because the matchmaking is so long, it might as well not actually have it because it just goes so wide that, yeah, it's just ridiculous. So... I think all of these things will sort of fix themselves at the same time with, with shit like this. So anyway, those are my thoughts on the 2v8 mode. Hopefully it does come back in a uh, better and more high variety form. But until then, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.